I have already said that the five sections of the wasteland correspond to the five classical elements. The opening section of the wasteland, the burial of the dead, corresponds to the earth for obvious reasons. The second section, a game of chess, corresponds to air, but the reasons are not so obvious. The section deals with romance. The section deals with sexuality. And what can be more buoyant, what can be more exhilarating than romance, than the expression of sexuality? When you are involved in a romance, you feel that you are walking on air. Secondly, air is referred to in the text of the section, stirred by the air, stirred by the air. Thus, a game of chess corresponds to the classical element of air. The high point of the dressing room is the mantle. The poet makes it a point to qualify the noun mantle by calling it the antique mantle. Mantle or mantelpiece is a structure which surrounds the opening of the fireplace. Antique mantle. Antique is anything which is old, especially something which is more valuable because it is old. Above the mantle is displayed a picture. When one looks at the picture, one feels that one is looking out to the window. Here one is reminded of a similar situation in Milton's Paradise Lost, in John Milton's Paradise Lost. Satan coming to the Garden of Eden and observing the Garden of Eden from outside and wondering how he can destroy not just the Garden of Eden but also the lives of Adam and Eve and their descendants for centuries and centuries to come. What does the picture depict? The picture depicts the change of Philomel or the transformation of Philomela. In classical mythology, Philomela was a beautiful princess who was raped by her brother-in-law Tyrius. Tyrius cut off her tongue in order to prevent her from revealing the incident to the world. Philomela takes revenge on Tyrius and Tyrius pursues Philomela in order to punish her. The gods turn Philomela into a nightingale and it is believed that the sound made by the nightingale is the sorrowful lament of Philomela. The theme of the picture is highly significant. The picture could have dealt with any other theme, but it deals with 
the story of Philomela. This is very important. The picture throws light on the sexual morality of the upper classes in contemporary Western society. And the upper classes are represented here by the protagonist. The picture turns the spotlight on the sexual degeneration prevalent among the rich and famous in contemporary European society. The poet says that the nightingale filled all the desert with inviolable voice. Inviolable is that which is not to be violated, that which is not to be broken. The body of Philomela was violated, but now her voice is inviolable. And this inviolable voice fills all the desert. The world in which the dressing room and the picture about the mantelpiece in the dressing room are cited is a moral desert, is a spiritual desert, is a cultural desert. And it is in this desert that the nightingale sings. The nightingale, in fact, fills the desert, fills all the desert with her inviolable voice. In the picture, she keeps on crying and she is being pursued constantly. And still she cried and still the world pursues. The picture is that of the transformation of Philomela. In the picture the nightingale sings. And the nightingale is still being pursued in this world. In fact, the world continues to hunt Philomelas. The world continues to hunt the nightingale. Jug jug to tortillas. Jug jug is conventionally used in Elizabethan literature to signify sexual intercourse. What is the poet trying to convey here? The picture is that of the nightingale, is that of Philomela. The nightingale fills the desert that is the contemporary Western world with her inviolable song. However, the story of Philomela does not end with Philomela being transformed into a nightingale because Philomela has continued to be hunted by the world. And the song strikes the dirty years of the wastelanders as jug jug. The poet makes it clear that the song of the nightingale is devoid of any spiritual significance, any aesthetic significance, any literary significance, and all that it means to the wastelanders. 
who possess dirty ears is its most gross, its most coarse interpretation. The song of the nightingale represents to the dirty ears of the wastelanders nothing more than, nothing more elevated than the physical, nothing more elevated than mere sexual intercourse.